can't win it. <laughs> yes, going for a stroll in Yuchuka. I've always wanted to play Yuka in Yuchuka. It started yeah, already. Like it started already. Uh, so Yuchuka is a little town in Victoria here on the banks of the Murray River. Uh, the Murray River being the longest river in Australia. But we're not here to see the river as such. Uh, the, the town's famous for paddle steamers. Now, I must admit, I've never seen a paddle steamer in real life before. So we've come to the right place because Yuchuka is home to the largest paddle steamer collection in the world. It also has the oldest paddle steamer in the world. Yep, the PS Adelaide, built in 1866. So that's an old girl for you indeed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Winery. What is it? Feel me going in. Winery. Yeah, you'd, probably, you'd probably like the first or the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what time of the day it is. Aged for 10 years. So made a blend of grapes. Okay. And this one been fermented in a brandy barrel. 16. Yes. Wow. So after 16 years, that's the... Here's the thing. We are trying these wines and ports yeah. and we haven't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> Hilarious, I'm already half stonking. I won't ride that push bike home, I don't think. <laughs> well, it won't be riding it in a straight line anyway. <laughs>
chocolate. Yes, it? actually, that's right. It's chunks of it. Ooh. Yeah, the chunky wall Yep. And then we found this on Don't know what they got themselves in for, do they? Ha! Like, How long's it been since you've been on a swing, Mum? <laughs> I didn't want to spread my legs, I didn't think that would be a fun. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, you don't live on two minute noodles in motorhomes, guys. Uh uh. Nope. You also have the biggest goddamn beer cans you can buy. C compare that, Rudy. See that? Twoies have done a very, very good thing lately. They've made 500 mil beer cans. Anyway, um, chicken burgers on the menu tonight. Chicken burgers, oven fries. Takes about 10 minutes to make. Easy as. Delicious. <sighs> So the burgers are not better at Hungry Jacks. Jacks. They are definitely not. If you want good burgers, come here. To our motorhome. To our just, restaurant. Yeah, if you see us around, just knock on the door, guys. We're happy to serve you. Well, they can have yours. They're not having mine. Anyway, I have a few ice cream sandwiches that <gasps> a little family would want. Ice cream sandwiches? Ice cream sandwiches? Yeah. Oh. Gourmet ice cream cookies. In well, thank you, Leah. You are most welcome. I shall see you later. Okay, later. That's our character waitress. Her name is Leah, and uh, she's gorgeous, and she works here at... Um, <laughs> what did I miss? At the restaurant. Ooh, here's, Chloe, here's Chloe back. Chloe, Hi. you just missed Leah, the waitress. Again? Oh, come on. This looks pretty good. Cookie. Yeah, yeah, they're ice cream cookies. This is new, is it? We've never had these. Oh, my God. A gourmet ice cream cookie. This is something you'd have on a flight. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, that's good. Mmm. Wow, that's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same. Like, hold on a second. I'm waiting. This is good. What? I could eat ten of these. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You actress. Guess what I have done? I have taken out my hair. So now it looks all frizzy and, and messy and I look like a lion and Jess is spying on me. Bye. Let's see her feet. Wow, look at it. <laughs> it looks like two minute noodles. It does. Yeah. I wonder if they taste all right. <laughs> When you're travelling in Australia in a motorhome, you do forge very unique friendships with the travelling community. And it's funny, you know, you constantly bump into friends you have met in previous states all the way through your journey all around Australia. We've bumped into an old travelling friends of ours, Mel and Terry. Uh, you don't realise this, Mel, but do you know we met you in Western Australia Bumped you in the Northern Territory, bumped you again in Queensland, 
you came to our house in New South Wales. Today we're in Victoria on a farm. There's only two states left that you and I have to meet in, and that's <laughs> Tasmania and South Australia. <laughs> Can we do it? It's always possible. <laughs> Everything's possible. So, Mel, how old are you this year? I'm 80. 80. And how long have you been travelling the wilderness in Australia for? 15 years. 15 straight years. 15 full years. time. Full time. And you're a Victorian? I am, yes. yes. Sold up, built your own van and hit the road. That's right. Yep. 15 years ago. And how long do you plan on living this lifestyle for? As long as it takes. <laughs> My, we're, we, we'll probably die out here somewhere. That's the, that's the plan. So you're, gonna, you're just going to go right to the very end? Right to the, that's if it works. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the plan. Yep. Good on you, mate. I met, I met a bloke years ago that had, he was uh, 90 and his wife was going to be turned 90. They've been on the road 25 years. And, they're still and going? they were still on the road. Yeah. Wow. Full time. Yeah. Best decision you made. I, I, I keep pinching myself. But, you know, how does this work? I'm supposed to be in a wheelchair or... Bloody, or <laughs> it's kept you or, young, yeah? Absolutely. You so know, 15 years on the road, how many times have you gone around Australia? 15 times. 15 times. Yeah. And you said something to me back when we, we last met, you know, uh, maybe it was... I think you said this to me in the Northern Territory. I said, uh, you've been around 15 times, but even you said to me, you've only scratched the surface Absolutely. of Australia. Absolutely. It, it, we're, been, we're, we're just so big. Absolutely. It's such a bear, and there's so much to see. You know, our rig is, obviously, <coughs> there's places we can't go. You yeah. know, it's, uh, um, you know, we can go down, for instance, I, I have never been up the Gibb River Road, you know. Yeah. Our rig's not desired. I mean, I could go up the That's Gibb broken River Road. That's broken a lot of hearts, that Gibb River Road, anyway. Absolutely. You know, it breaks more than hearts. <laughs> That's the trouble. So, yeah. Um, but, um, but, yeah, there's there's lots and lots of places we haven't seen, you know, and um, it's, yeah, it's a big country. Yeah. And, you know, people say to me, oh, you must have seen it all now, Mel. Nah. Like I said, no, I don't think anyone can lay claim to they've seen all of Australia. No, no. Seen, they? seen most of it, you know, all of, but there's lots and lots that, that we... Yeah, You'll have fun yeah. trying, though, oh, trying absolutely. to see the whole lot. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go, mate. Um, it's Look, it's been wonderful to catch up with you again. Pardon the... Um, the noisy tractor, but we are on a farm, so yep. <laughs> <laughs> what better place than to meet go you? Go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, mate. We'll travel safe, and you, you never know. We may just see you in uh, those two last dates. You never know. Who knows? <laughs> you travel safe too. All right, mate. You too, mate. Bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't have it on record. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> he knows me too well by now. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's an unusual situation to find yourself in. You meet people, make friends, but upon going your own ways, you never really know if that's the last time that your paths will cross again. In a way, that, that's exactly why we travel. Uh, the journey, the mystery, the adventure. <laughs>